So we started our Cloud Foundry journey with our private cloud, and then I would say over the last two years, we've moved uh, to enable the multi-cloud delivery. One of the, the things that, that I, I really love about it is that essentially it's the same functionality on different platforms, just customized slightly based on what works best on that platform. It avoids kind of, Cloud Foundry avoids vendor locking, but also it avoids a situation where if there was a major outage on one of the other cloud providers, then you won't be affected. Because even if the major outage, so traditionally we'd run in uh, uh, across the US and across uh, EU kind of um, availability zones, but even if a major thing's happening in the US, you know, get the thundering herd coming out across the UK and that could affect performance, etc. So it just allows that great, uh, that great kind of uh, freedom. As we look towards the future, we've got a great team that's laying down our cloud strategy and as we explore options, we know that there's a lot of power in the future of being on the base of Cloud Foundry so that if the infrastructure team, the cloud and security team decide to kind of burst into a public cloud, I don't have to worry about that as the owner of products and apps because if my team's engineered things the right way, we'll be able to go there with, again, without having to worry about all those individual decisions. The ability to have that choice without having the developers refactor their applications every time we change cloud providers is a, a big deal for us. It's a big time savings.